Hey, it is Monday. We're almost done with this series that I've been doing, Overcoming Overwhelm, talking about how to have more peace in your life, how to feel like at the end of the day, you're right where you're supposed to be. You're on the right path and like you can chill instead of worrying about everything, instead of being overwhelmed. Like maybe I'm in the wrong place. Maybe I'm doing the wrong thing. Maybe they have a better idea. Maybe I need to change everything, right? Um, those are to me the most important things that we need to kind of combat all the time because like I said last week we have so many choices how do you decide the best one for your life so today I'm going to be talking about how to make confident decisions I work with tons of people with anxiety and overwhelm and procrastination and you know not knowing if they're in the right place doing the right thing and what I find is how we make decisions is the most important thing that, you know, we have so many decisions. And I think as a business owner, business owners have even more decisions because we have so much freedom, right? The hours that we want, who we want to work with, how we want to work, where we want to be in life in general, we have lots of decisions. So we're constantly making decisions and it's, it's a gift to be able to have that much freedom, but if you're making decisions out of fear or what other people think or what you should be doing, then it actually takes away that freedom. So I want to talk about a few different things that, that get in the way of making good decisions. And then a few things that you can start doing, you know, I'm, I'm sharing tips, things you can start doing and thinking about to begin to make better decisions right away today. So one of the, the main things, and I think I just keep repeating myself <laughs> because it's really important. One of the main things is fear that stops so many people. And, you know, we're afraid that we're going to do it wrong. We're afraid that we're going to make a mistake. We're, we're afraid of these things. And to me, that stops a lot of people. You're safe because if you don't make the decision, if you don't do it wrong, you're safe. But you're not really living. And, and I find that people, sometimes the anxiety comes up because it's actually trying to get your attention and trying to say, yeah, you've been, you've been living in fear and you've been making a lot of safe decisions or not deciding, but you're not happy. You're not living the life that you really want to live. And so that's one thing that can stop us from making good decisions. The other thing is like putting such a huge heavy weight on every single decision that it's like do or die, right? That'll stress you out. Not trusting in your intuition, which I've, I've been talking about, um, deciding, making decisions off of emotion. So it's interesting because I talk about emotions a lot, how we process them, to listen to them, that they're important, not to ignore them, not to stuff them, you know, not to, um, shove them down. And the reason that I talk, and, and so people are like, okay, well, we're not talking about dis emotions. Well, the reason you fully address your emotions and listen to them and sit with them is so you can get on the other side of them. So you can get to the logical, wise decision that is in alignment with your values, but you've got to process the emotions first. So when we're making decisions out of the emotion, then we're reacting and we're doing things that at the end of the day, we're probably not going to lead us where we want to be. So when you're making decisions, don't make them off emotion as much as you can. We're human, so <laughs> that's not always possible. So those are things that stop us from making good decisions. Here are some tips, and you can think about this today, and, and if you have an opportunity, do it today, but allow yourself to be wrong. It's really important. I think uh, for me as a business owner, one thing that I've really had to embrace is being wrong and being, I, I say, sucking at things, right? Like if you're going to live a life that you love with all of the opportunities that you want, doing the things that you want, you're going to be having to learn new things and growing. And in that it's uncomfortable. And when we're learning new things at first, you suck at it, right? So not only embrace that you could be wrong, but embrace learning. And a really powerful way to do that is instead of the idea of failure, 
use the idea of play, or I use the word experimenting a lot. I'm going to see if this works with my schedule. I'm going to see if this works. You know, if I set a boundary and I'm going to try it this way and see how that works. And if you can use curiosity and experimentation, that's going to take a lot of pressure off being wrong. And, and that's going to help your brain be more willing to make those decisions that move you in the right direction. So allow yourself to be wrong. And then the other thing is you're not God. And I know that you know this, obviously, but we have this idea sometimes, like if I screw this up, my whole life trajectory is going to be off course and it will be, I won't be able to fix it. It will be irreversible, right? And you're not that powerful. Like we can mess our lives up. I've spent many years messing my life up, but you can always get back on track. You can always get back into alignment. So when you know that, again, it takes the pressure off these decisions as being like do or die. We're always being led back to alignment. We're always being taken care of. We're always being like, for me, something's going to like hit me upside the head so that I can get back on track. You know, I'm not going to I'm not going to make a decision and get myself into oblivion. I might have regrets, but I can always change direction and get back on course. And ironically, the more that we think about this, the more that we experiment, the more that we think about our decisions, the better our decisions are. So we go off track less of the time. Okay. The next thing is forgive your past mistakes. All of us were conditioned about how we made, make decisions, right? We were given a program. We make decisions to make everybody else happy. We want to please other people. We want to try to help everybody. We want to make sure everybody likes us, right? We have that, those decisions, or we want to always be safe and always be right and never make a mistake. We were given these programs of how to make decisions. And if there's things that we've done in our past that we've made mistakes, those programs where we live in fear of other people or fear of doing it wrong, we can forgive that. And we can, from now on moving forward, we can be doing a different thing in how we make decisions. We can forgive the past, forgive the past mistakes. I know I have so many terrible mistakes. So many things where I've hurt other people. I've hurt myself. I've gone off track, you know, and we have to forgive ourselves. I did my best with what I had. And I know that you did your best with what you had, but if we carry the regret and the guilt and the shame forward from those past decisions, then they are influencing our future. And we're actually bringing all that junk with us into the future and you're not going to be able to have peace. The, the decision is done. The mistakes are done. And you need to forgive yourself so that you can actually change things in the future, right? We want to change how we're going forward. We need to release the, the past. Um, the next thing is trust your intuition and your gut. Um, if you want to you know, know more about that, I talked about that last week. You can scroll, scroll down and there's a video about that. Don't make decisions when you're emotional. So um, the, the, and, then, and then the next one, make peace and well-being more important than what other people think. For both of these, the principle of making a decision and not being emotional about it and not caring so much what other people think and not being afraid is to pause. The most powerful thing you can do when you're making a decision is not react automatically and pause and, and really ask, why am I making this decision? Is this the best thing for me? Is this going to move me toward my goals? Is this in alignment with my values? There's no reason, 98% of the time, there's no reason that you need to make a fast decision. You can take your time. And as you take your time, you can decide the direction that you want to go and you can decide, okay, it, am I really emotional right now? Okay, what's going on? What's coming up? And process that emotion so you can get to the logical decision that you want to make. And you can also decide, okay, am I doing this because I want, I'm scared what other people think? Am I doing this because I'm scared of making a mistake? Am I, you know, am I doing this because I want to help everybody and it's at the expense of myself? You know, sit 
and think about how you are making this decision. And as you do that, you learn yourself, you learn the things that, you know, where you tend to be reactive and you can learn how to respond a different way. You can learn how to let go of past mistakes. You can learn how to make new patterns. And as you do that, you make better decisions and the better your decisions, the better your life because every single decision is either leading you toward your goals or off track, making it take longer to get there. When we care too much what other people think, that's usually 99% of the time taking us away from our goals. When we're afraid of making a mistake, it's going to take us longer to get to our goals. So as you sit with those decisions and you say, okay, why am I doing this or why am I not doing this? And you improve how you're making those choices you're going to improve your life and you're going to be able to get to your goals. So again, I'm going to do a recap. If you want to make a good decision and you want to be moving toward your goals, it's okay to be wrong. You're not God. You can't screw up the whole universe. Forgive your past mistakes. Trust your intuition. Don't make decisions when you're emotional. Pause, wait, stop, regroup, and make peace and well-being yourself, your peace, your well-being more important than what other people think. For a lot of us, that feels really selfish, but it's just really smart and wise. And it's the only way to get where you're going. So if you want to talk more about this stuff, I have a whole workbook. I'm trying to cram in as much info as I can <laughs> March 29th um, for kick overwhelm to the curb for you guys um, with uh, worksheets and tools and strategies and stuff that you can do so that you can kick overwhelm to the curb and have more peace and confidence in your life, make better decisions, trust your intuition, master your mindset and emotions. Like I said, I'm going to put in as much as I can to give you so that you can walk away with it. I have a transformational recording I'm going to do at this workshop. So I encourage you to be there. And also if you're, if, if you're interested, interested in the kick-ass life program it's on my website but i'm going to link the workshop below so i hope you're having a fantastic monday